A London bereavement charity has been encouraging young volunteers to donate their time to tend to the graves of coronavirus victims in their community. The charity has been maintaining resting places in Manor Park Cemetery and Crematorium in East London. Here's a report. So it's all levelled and make sure there's an arch in the middle. Volunteers of yeah. a London charity have found a novel way to yeah, give perfect. something back to their communities and for some to process the loss of a loved one. On the 1st of May, my grandmother passed away and she used to live with us for the last 14 years and I was really, really close to her. So I left like a big hole in my heart, maintaining my grandma's grave, um, putting a plant on it, um, watering it. You know, my grandma did a lot for me during my life and I think this is the way I, you know, I'm giving back to her as well as the community. Volunteers at Supporting Humanity, together with the Muslim Patel Burial Trust, have been maintaining the resting places of COVID victims. The number of graves has sharply increased since the start of the pandemic and now stands at 476. And the section behind me is literally what we call our COVID section. Last March we were only had filled up two lines and everything else you see behind me is predominantly since March. With over 60,000 fatalities, Britain has the highest death toll in Europe. Pandemic-induced lockdowns, restrictions and isolation has only compounded the grief for those who lost a loved one. One of the things we found was when people were passing away, there was no one they could go and talk to, so there's no bereavement help, no mental health work, which is two of the things that is a major issue within communities, especially after someone passes away or even during their lifetimes. In these times of turmoil, the charity work helps the volunteers feel connected. It allows us to do our bit for the community, um, what the elders have sacrificed for us in the past, and at the same time, pray for those that we've lost as well. just want to help out, do my bit for the community, and, and, and if we get together and work together, we can make a difference. The United Kingdom became the first nation in the world to roll out the vaccine developed by Pfizer. Many hope that this will be the beginning of the end of the pandemic. Bureau the report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.